Hi, and thanks for joining us. We are looking for microfossils in a sample from a middle Devonian locality of 18 Mile Creek in the wonderful state of New York. The name of the creek refers to the distance between the creek and the Niagara River, by the way. Conodonts are fossils, which you rarely find in the field. To discover them, you would have to dilute large amounts of rocks and acid, concentrate insoluble particles, and search through the pile under the microscope in the comfort of your home or lab if you are a scientist. Our sample contains mostly bits and broken pieces of extinct life, but sometimes you can find really gorgeous fossils, like this one for instance. It looks like a leaf with bumps on one side, but it supposedly was a part of a complex dental apparatus of a worm-like animal, arguably primitive chordate, leaving a possibility for a lineage leading to us, mammals. The sample comes from the dark gray shale at the top of Genundewa Formation, limestone deposits, which are approximately 380 million years old. At that time, the territory of modern New York was much closer to the equator and was covered with warm tropical seas, swarmed with sharks, mollusks including cephalopods, trilobites, and obviously conodonts. A peculiar detail about conodonts is that their color depends on the temperature they have been subjected to during their long confinement inside the sedimentary rocks. The darker the color is, the higher the temperature was. It's like conodonts are being baked during their time underground. Conodonts, as well as spores and pollen, are most common geological thermometers. And there are color alteration indices for each of these groups of fossils. In these indices, the color is calibrated against the temperature. Looking at how dark conodonts are in our sample, we can assume that they were baked at temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius, perhaps even over 300. Obviously, this property is defined by the mineral composition of conodonts, which are rich in phosphorus. Light brown color corresponds to temperatures around 60 to 100 degrees Celsius. To create the color alteration index, light colored conodonts were temperature treated in an electric furnace at a certain temperature to induce changes in color. I bet those who did it were joking about baking conodonts in the lab. By the way, petrified wood can also be heat treated when it is being prepared for napping in the process of making primitive stone tools. As a result, the stone becomes more brittle and it's easier to chip off flakes. In addition, it makes a new glossy surface and the colors are slightly more saturated. It seems that conodont elements, the tooth-like parts of conodont animals, were kind of retractable. This should have served conodonts well when they were catching large prey by grabbing. At the same time, the ability to retract the grabbing parts would help to preserve a small diameter of the body, allowing them to fit into burrows. Modern day ocean bottom worms, called sand strikers or bobbit worms, have similar apparatus to grab fish. Filming conodonts is a challenge because they are very, very tiny. So forgive us if it's not always in focus, if you want to learn how we make the videos of minute things, follow the links in the description. Thanks for watching! See you next time! Bye bye!